penis to fill, a penis to fill. If he doesn't penis, then penis to fill. A penis, 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 cock. Penis, the penis to fill. Oh, I've got a nice big package for you all. A nice big package. Um. Oh no, don't show my address. That's not my home address. That's my mailbox. Send me shit if you like. Um, this arrived. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's an unboxing video. There's no box involved. But it's an unboxing. Oh, hi, Mark. 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 See, that's from that really bad movie the room what's in here though whoa only fucking 10 highlighters 10 pink and look at that fucking look at that shit glorious gorgeous glorious Ooh, is slightly different than advertised um but i think i prefer them they're little not necessarily smaller than i was ex expecting i wasn't expecting them to be fucking huge i mean come on they were they were relatively inexpensive um, you know, office supply, buy in bulk, so I've got 50, <laughs> there were packs of 10 for like £2.50 or something, and I bought five packs, so I've got 50 high markers, high marker highlighters, highlight mark highlighters, high markers, high mark lighters, look at all the highlights I can do! Look at all the words. Imagine how many words I could highlight with all of these fucking highlighters, man. Oh, doesn't it just make you want to fucking highlight everything? Oh, I'm going to do this. Oh. Wow. Look at all that. Oh. There's so many, so much. Oh, think of all the art with create with all of these wow hey i'll sign them i'll i'll write hi ewan on the side and send them to you if you like wouldn't that be a neat nifty little thing i don't know should we see if they're actually any good i mean the high mark ones i, I recall seeing these i think we had them at work like these were the ones that you know most workplaces would would buy the high mark highlight i like that it's just that it's no like other text and barcodes and shit because i guess they're office supply they don't put all that they put them on the box don't they because they're not for individual resale hi ewan wow we could tell we could do some graffiti goblin Goblin. Eat. Shit. Ha <laughs> um, ha! What's a neat, a neat trick you can do is if you take the word shit, you get S there, and then you do this, this for the H, you go like this. Unnecessarily, of course. Um, but then you've got... You want to do it. I don't know, that's, that's nothing. That's just some some shit um because you want to make it like mirrorage so if you have the s like this and then if you put something random above the h like that oh no maybe you don't need to balance it out too much you need to do something with the t though because the t is a bit bland in it could do that uh could reverse the S. Can I do something with that? Do something with that, but like with the T. Um, no, that looks shit. Uh, hey, wow. Let's. Um, but how the how's the pen? It's all right. The ink flow isn't amazing, but it's not a paint pen, is it? It's it's not meant to be, you know. Like you can see there, it fades quite easily if you don't press. 
and take your time, but you're not meant to highlight like this. You're meant to highlight like this. That's how it's done, isn't it? Wow. Um, wow, today I'm in bed. Hell, this is welcome to my bed. I just bought a new bedding. I bought a new bedding. It's all leaves. I, I sleep in the jungle now. Um, I've moved from the, the garbage pile outside the restaurant, outside the back of my, my flat. And now I sleep in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> it's my jungle noises. <laughs> um, I just thought, you know, my new bedding, it's, it's new duvet and pillows as well. And duvet cover and sheet pillow. It's all new, all new. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, just, you know, thought about time I treated myself to some shit. So that's what I did, done, done, dude. Um, now, I'm gonna end up saying these highlighters aren't that great, but like, I've got loads of them for, for not much money, so. Also, how good do they need to be? Also, what do we say? We make art out of fucking anything. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the pens are good. If ink comes out of them onto the page and you can make marks with it, then that's what counts, isn't it? That's all you need at the end of the day. At the end of the day, as long as it makes marks on page, that's all you need, isn't it? Um, but my bedding is so comfortable, I didn't want to leave. So I thought, why don't I just do the podcast in bed? Um, this could be revolutionary. I could be the next John Lennon and Yoko. Oh, no. Um, this guy, he's, he's, I'm drawing a guy sat in the electric chair. I just the picture of a guy in the electric chair was in my head. So, so I thought it'd be funny to draw. Someone getting a death sentence after murdering children or some such thing like that. <laughs> why, why, why not? That would be a fun thing to draw, wouldn't it? Let's do that. That would be some good imagery for art. Is a, a child murderer getting his comeuppance. The murderer becomes the murderee. <laughs> uh, And then he's going to be strapped in here. And I want his hands to be all like freaky and weird looking. Yeah, like that. Finger there, finger there. Finger me everywhere. Oh no, not there. Yeah, there, finger me there. Oh no, you fingered my underwear. What? Um, the irony, the ironic irony part of this whole, oh, the podcast in my bed. See, because it's it, the idea being, ah, it's a lazy day, my new duvet's so comfy, I think I'll just stay in bed. The irony is, it's a lot more effort for me to set everything up to record from this position than it is to just stay at my desk. Because at my desk, I've got my tripod above my desk, stick my phone in it, plug a mic in, just draw all of my materials are there at my desk where I need them. I can reach out. Um, abracadabra, I can reach out and grab you um, if you're a pen and I need you in that instant. Um, but now I'm... I had to set up some boxes next to my bed, put my tripod on it, get my fucking phone and the microphone and all of the bits. I've got to have everything around me. Any books I want to look at, I've got to move and have them next to me. Any extra art materials I need, a drink and stuff by the side to make sure it's all. Whereas if it's at my desk, everything's just right in one place and it's where I 
So it's actually uh, sort of easier to just stay at my desk. So it's call it a lazy day, do the podcast in bed, but it's actually a lot more effort to to do that. <laughs> Uh, it's not as amusing as, as you might think. Um, shall I make it obvious that he went wee-wee on himself, make it all dark in his crotch area here. <laughs> now it all dripping out. <laughs> he did <done a> wee-wee. <laughs> oh, poor Mr. Child Murderer. He peed himself as he died. do 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 that's how people will remember you. The guy beat himself when he died. <laughs> fucking loser. What a fucking nerd. Went wee wee as he died. Gazit. Yeah, I'm noticing these highlighters aren't amazing. Amwazing. They're, they're not great for filling in large areas. But they're okay. Yes, they do. They do the job. They're good enough. They're good enough. And I've got a thousand. Well, no, I literally have 50, which is not a thousand. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> uh, ooh. Speaking of houses burning to the ground. I think I've told this story before about how um, when I was younger, when I, when I was super young, like young, young, like five or six and onwards, I always had horrible, horrible, horrific fear of my house burning down. Um, and because in the 90s, the early to mid 90s especially, there was a lot of stuff on TV. Like that was the big... Um, like fear thing they put on TV and the news and stuff was house fires. I think, and before that they'd have in maybe the eighties, it was like stranger danger. That was the big fear thing. And in the seventies, maybe like seventies slash eighties, it was like nuclear war, those kinds of things. You know, they have the news and whatever will put in um, just things to scare people. Like the new, the newest thing, Ebola bird flu, all the diseases. Um, and yeah, I re recall seeing a lot on television when I was a wee lad about house fires. Um, and I was fucking terrified that it was going to happen. That my house was going to burn the fuck down. Um, luckily enough, it never did happen. Uh, well, yet. You know, touch wood. Touch my penis. Uh, but then several years later, when I was, I don't know, like 11 or 12 or something, um, I recall, I was, it was a Saturday, I was, you know, I had some pocket money, which is quite a rare occurrence. Um, so when it had happened, it was quite a, a big deal. So I took my pocket money, I was off to the shops to buy all candies and, and, and monster munches. And I had cargo pants, cargo trousers with all the pockets down the side. And I filled them up with like crisps and sweets and chocolates and stuff. Rolos, fucking monster munch bulging out of my pocket. Um, it was good times, good times. And then on the way, on the walk in home, on the way back, um, a fire engine sped past me with its sirens blaring. Like that's how fire engines sound. Uh, and, and I thought to myself, oh, wouldn't it be funny if it was going to my house? <laughs> um, and then I get closer to my house. And, well, I lived in a flat at the time. We, my family and I lived in a flat at the time. Um, and I get to, like, the top of the hill where I can look down towards the, the end of the road and see the block of flats I live in. And there's the fire engine outside my home. And I look up on the top floor of the flat. And there's my kitchen window with smoke billowing out of it. Um, <laughs> and it was my fears come true, ladies and gentlemen. How horrific a sight that was. Uh, turns out, 
what happened was my my amazing idiot brother uh he was he'd had oil in a pan on the stove his plan was he was making fucking burgers or whatever frying some shit in a pan um and then while the oil was heating up he stood in the doorway of the sitting room just next to the kitchen to like watch tv while he waited for the oil to heat up and then he obviously got so engrossed in what he was watching on the television uh he forgot about the oil on the pan until the smoke alarm went off and then there was the, the pan was on fire and the kitchen was basically on fire I mean, not in his defence, but I guess luckily enough, he managed to, like, we had a uh, a fire blanket you pull out of a thing on the wall. He threw that over it and it was all cool, but it, there was smoke everywhere and he phoned uh, 999 and got the, the fire engine to come out. And so as I'm walking down towards the flat, um, I see the firemen come out of the, the bottom door with the pan. They put the pan on the ground and they blast it with a hose. Um, the pan wasn't on fire, but, you know, obviously very, very hot. Um, and it was my, my, yeah, literally my nightmares turned to reality to see that shit. Um, which is, you know, it's fun, funny, fun, fun games. Uh, and then just today, on my way back from picking up all of these, all of these, um, I see a fire engine shoots past me sirens blaring and i i did it i went oh i hope that's not going to my house oh, could you imagine it um and then as soon as i had that thought i was like oh fuck don't do that because last time you did that that's exactly what happened and obviously i didn't fucking manifest the fire engine going to my home that was my my fuck of a brother that did he manifested that by setting fire to the fucking kitchen like the dolt he is as he's wont to do is it want to do or won't to do that's another one of those words that like i know how to use it but i don't really know what it is or what it means um and because because i'm having a lazy day in bed i don't have the luxury of, of having my laptop right next to me as i usually do i could i could have it next to me i could have brought it with me sat it on the bed next to me but I didn't think about that did I so now I can't look up is it want to do or won't to do I guess I'll never know boy howdy that sure is a, a fun exciting thing to receive and post all of these do you know what else is a fun exciting thing to receive in the post anthrax oh no but also these that I got from the PHK um, EPHK on Instagram, I think it goes by Electric Pick as his full name. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Um, I, he, I got a package from him for some books I got from him. Um, I also got some, some postcards and some stickers and shit. Um, that one's very rude. Um, there's lots of very, very rude bits. Oh. Um, I, I, I might show three weeks in a row one book each week um i might not i might show him all in one go i'm gonna probably make a separate video just showing off his work though because if you know him on instagram you know he's fucking good um i love his work i've got some other of his stuff books and things his book more of Vallis, that comic i've got his giants of mega city book and some other stuff he's good i really i really like and admire his work he draws lots of ladies Gotta love that, giant ladies with their bums and pusses out and tits and things. He's got such a, a good, like, graphic, cartoony style, but, like, everything feels very solid, very realistic. See, when he draws, like, shapes like this, the little juice boxes, they feel very solid. The shoes feel very solid. The straps feel solid. The bodies feel solid. He's got a really, really good sense of of shape and form. Um, I believe this, this is, I don't know if the series of books is active measures or whatever. It seems they're just like collected works, comics and paintings and drawings and things. These look like some sort of like miniature versions of his mega city giant ladies. They're cool. You know, 
just the, the shadow and the tummy and the little highlight on the tummy and the little squidge and the I like how he draws fingers and fingernails. I've stolen the fingernails from him several times. Space gals. And he produces a lot of work as well, which is um, almost intimidating how much he actually makes all of his comics and individual pieces. Funny guys. Oh, one, one, oh, one, oh, oh, one, oh, one, one. The Unbelievable Adventures of Minibot and Microbot, Chapter 2. Ooh, is there a Chapter 1? Maybe, I don't know. I think this might be Chapter 1. This is Chapter 1. Wow, I'm looking at the books in the wrong order. Never mind. Um, a little bot walking through the town. Again, I love all the, the solid shapes of the cars and the buildings. And the way he's got heavy outlines on the figures in the front and not so much on the back. So it, it fades into the distance. Good contrast and shit. Um, and then there's a frog. Oh my God. And the frog licks the micro bot and swallows it. Oh no, you swallowed my friend, you cunt. You don't give a shit. What have you done? You don't give a shit. What have you done? Grabs the fucker. Ah! Oh, he's pulling his, his mouth apart. He's pulling him open. He's climbing inside him. He's falling into his mouth. Oh, my God. I want, 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 I want. Love, love this. So, you know, they're, they're talking like, I want, 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 Because, you know, binary. Um, whoosh, croak. And then to O's, which is the off or negative Negative, negative, negative. And then back to one, 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 one. Oh, he's found his little microbot, so he's like, yeah, positive. One, one, one. He found him inside. That's really cool, man. He did that in Moarth Vallis as well, where he had like a made up language for the 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 speech bubbles in that, which is really cool. Which is a perfect example of visual storytelling because the really really well done in this little comic actually. Um, that if the speech bubbles weren't there, the story would make just as much sense. You get it completely. You see what's happening by you know the, even the color having this all red and the angry face and stuff. Um, you get it, but having the speech bubbles with the O's and the ones and everything really does add an extra element to the story, which I really like. And it, yeah, really good use of colour. He's got cool duotone dots in parts of it, and this looks like like a faux watercolour kind of texture. It's really good, man. Really cool. Again, female forms and really solid blocky things cassette tapes and shit best mixtape ever fuck yeah number three fuck yeah best ever magnetic monopole is that the magnetic monopole i don't know if that's the title of the book or maybe like that's the so that's the the series is active measures oh they are numbered one two X. Oh, this because this is the X-rated one. Uh, I don't need to know. I don't care. They're just fucking good. That's really good. Really cool. Rock lettering. The pterodactyls are really cool. The palm trees. All this stuff. This is all very believable and easy to fuck up. Really easy to fuck that up. Love this where he's done the cutaway of the fucking alien machine lifting up. The, the tribal people, dropping them into here. And you can see it's got like a, although not a crusher because he's still alive there, but, and then pooping them out into pellets. A little alien with a clipboard walking down the stairs. And that's, he does everything so solid, but everything so um, deliberately, like all these cables or, you know, pipes and things, they feel real. I mean, in a way that like, it's really easy when you're doing this sort of stuff, drawing this sort of stuff, to just like do a load of random lines and go, yeah, pipes, whatever. But this all feels like 
deliberate. I think that's rather than the word real, I mean deliberate. Um, like he, he's certain of every line and every line has a place and it's very well realised rather than like it doesn't feel like he's just randomly drawn a bunch of shit. It's really, 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 really good. Um, and he's one of those artists who I loved for, for the longest time and then one day he started seeing him liking my work on Instagram and then one day he starts messaging me on Instagram like, what? What? Um, and I think it's, it's safe for me to refer to him as a friend. I, you know, he currently lives in France, I think. Uh, maybe maybe I'll go see him someday. That'll be fun. Uh, and then realise that, you know, maybe we're not as good friends in person. <laughs> I have no reason to believe that would be the case, but it would just be funny. Um, that's really fucking cool. The, the, oh, fuck, man. The, the little creases and shit. He does textures of material really well. The leather looks like shiny leather as opposed to the skin. The tones in the boobs and everything. It's good, man. It's really, really good. It's so precise and deliberate. I've said that already, but... Man. Like if you're drawing something like this again, 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 again. All I do is repeat myself. But um it's so easy to just make it loads of random stuff, but it looks and he might have done it randomly, but it he did it you know well enough that it looks deliberate and well drawn, well realized. Love the colours in that grey blues with all the red books going throughout. And like a fake like tram system map. Well maybe it's real, I don't know. I assume it's fake. It's a great collection. It's like just stuff like comics. I don't know what the fuck's going on in this. I blazed past that one, didn't I? Um, random, random pictures and things, girls, robots, a bedroom with a duck in it and a guy sleeping and all the details in the bedroom, no colour in the foreground, more colour in the background to denote a difference in, so it doesn't get too lost. Uh, ba, ba, ba. There's a house on a house, what the fuck? well drawn it's very well drawn well rendered love a nip love the the cock <laughs> oh that's good too we like that i think it's the 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 mix of like hard graphic black bold lines and then like really nicely rendered skin and lighting on the nipple and everything and tone in the skin, the little bulge there, the the pink redness blending into the rest of the skin tone, just the the the, the uh, kind of non abrasive mellow shadowing above the eyes. I've worded that really poorly, but you get the idea. Bunny girls in space helmets. It's good shit, man. It's good, good shit. Oh, he's reading comics. Is that could be me? A little smiley face, looking at all the tits and comics. It's good shit, man. It's good shit. Well, I know I ended that last segment saying, oh, "I guess I'll never know." I can't for the life of me remember what the fuck I said that about. What, what will I never know? I guess I'll never know what I'll never know. Um, oh, it was the meaning for a word. <laughs> now I know. Um, the <laughs> I didn't even... Uh, what was I talking about? Fire! Fire! To burn all you've done. Is that a song? Is that the lyrics from a song? Have I gotten the lyrics right from the song? The... <laughs> now, if I... Uh, I'm not happy with these hands. They need more work. I've got a video in, in the, the making. 
It might take me a little while to get to it, as does every single video I come up with, all the hundreds of thousands of video ideas I've had that I've talked about and never fucking done. Um, about drawing hands. Uh, talking about how easy it is to draw hands. <laughs> and then I draw hands, and I fuck them up. Um, no, they're not bad. They're not bad hands. They're all right. They're all right. Hey, those hands are all right, mate. Don't stress it, mate. You're doing fine. You're doing good. Ugh. The worst. Ha ha ha! I... I hate everything about myself. No, I don't. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the motherfucking best. And you can all eat my fucking dick. Um... When, during, when I lived uh, with my, my, what I call my folks, you know, my mother and the man she married, who I refuse to, I call him, I refer to him as my stepdad every now and again, but like, I don't like to, because that implies that he's like, my stepdad, like he's a guy in, in part of my family, whereas really he's just, like, I have no feeling of, of, familial intimacy or, or love or anything to what he just he's just a guy to me um oh, that's not what i was talking about while i was living with them uh, <coughs> they went to the states as they as they were wont to do um because he has family over there and i was left home alone and it was cool it was fine it was whatever uh, i leave for work it was in the winter time. I come home. Uh, I, I go up to my bedroom, and the the door handle is warm, but like not ah too hot to the touch. But like oh oh that's really warm. What's going on? I open my my door, and there's almost literally like a, a like a wall of heat like punches out the door at me, and I hear so I left my fucking fan heater on for the entire day and this was when I was having to travel anywhere from like one to two hours to get to work so it was like uh, an eight hour work day plus a couple of hours either side basically you know close enough 12 hours that my fucking fan heater was on just filling up my tiny tiny little bedroom with heat for fucking 12 hours. I had some um, chocolate bars in my desk drawer. Those were liquid in the wrapper. They weren't just like a bit soft and gooey. It was literally like liquid chocolate in the wrapper. Everything was hot to touch. My desk, my bed, everything was like just to touch my desk. It was warm, like incredibly warm. Um, and I, I just about had a panic attack. I was, I sat on my bed, turned my heater the fuck off, turned the plug off, unplugged it, sat on my bed just going, because <sighs> I was so fucking just petrified. Like I was so close to burning the fucking house down. I get left alone, which is always the best times because they generally, you know, my mum and the guy would go to the States uh, once a year at least. And so I always loved those times. It was great to have time to myself and wooby to do. And then what happens this one time? I could have fucking burnt the house down. Because I don't, you know, those heaters are supposed to have like a an emergency shut off thing where if they get past a certain heat, they just turn off. I don't know if this hadn't reached that heat or if it didn't have one of those things or what, but it was fucking terrifying um yeah again all those childhood fears swarm back into my head i'm just like oh my god what the fuck man ah oh, the relief of like not burning the house down was was huge but it, it didn't really outweigh the fear of the fact that i could easily have burn the fucking house down and I had spray cans in my room you know cans of paint all kinds of shit that could have easily just fucking overheated and blown the fuck up just what the fuck was I doing man and that's you know it's so rare that that happens because usually it's horrible trying to leave the house for me in general it takes me forever I check every fucking switch of everything the oven and heaters and whatever else 
make sure nothing's on. I check and recheck and recheck. Sometimes I'll leave, lock the door, walk down the first few stairs and think, shit, 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 I need to check again. I know, I know 100% I've checked and I know everything is off. But there's something uncomfortable in my brain that means I have to check again. So I go back up the stairs, open the door, pop my head inside, look at the plugs. Everything's off. Okay, we're good. Leave. And that's, you know, including checking my keys again and again and again. Because if my keys aren't in my pocket and I pull the door shut, it locks and I'm locked out. And that would be so easy to do. So I have to check fucking 15, 20 times every time I leave the house to make sure fucking keys are in my pocket it's a whole fucking mess um and of course now it's even worse since the heater incident when i fucking left the heater on and could have burnt the house down. oh christy oh christy this is supposed to be testing out you know the 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 pink highlighters and there's relatively little pink highlighter in it. It's a quite a cool, I like it. It's a cool little doodly do. Um, but it's not really, it's, it's relatively small amounts of pink. And actually, I think I'd like to eliminate some of the pink in here in the white areas. Get the tip X, which again, I don't have to hand because I didn't think to bring it with me to my bed while I'm in bed, playing in my bed. Um, and make the pink more stand out -y. It doesn't really interact with the black very well, does it? No, it smudges it and shit and ruins the... Ruins! Fucking marker pens. Makes them come out weird grey kind of colours and shit. Not good! Should we, draw, should we draw something else? <laughs> I had this idea um, for a funny little, like, I guess it would uh, equate to three panels, a three panel little comic strip. Because I've been drawing lizards and things, you know, um, as I am wont to do. Um, so I was going to draw a funny little, because I drew, I got, I did, I'll show you before what I show you again just for context. Uh, I got some lizards and I got, I'm holding the pen in my mouth, which is why I'm talking sillily. Um, and then I drew some, Lizards with guns. See, lizards with guns. The lizards have guns, so I'm drawing lizards with guns. Fuck you. Um, so I thought what would be funny is draw a lizard. A lizard with a ladder. Uh, that's from Alice in Wonderland. Um, to draw a, a pudgy, pudgy little lizard. Yeah. A pudgy, pudgy, funny, pudgy little lizard. Like this, with big, big bulbous lizard eyes. Um, funny lizard legs. It looks more like a frog, but it's not a frog, I swear. Um, and a tail going up, maybe like this. Um, doesn't look like, it does look like a, a fucking frog or something, doesn't it? Um, but the, the, the funny, the funny, the funny, where it, the, where it gets funny is, um, oh, I might need to draw it like this so I get the, uh... Like that, okay, that'll, that'll do, that'll do it. Um, all right, let's, let's embolden it. Uh, oh, wait, 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 I need to, um, shoot. Ah, I need to shoot, because it's a gun. Um, that'll do, right. Let's put these pink highlighters to work. You can get some good colour out of them. It's all about how you use it, isn't it? It's like anything. It's not, it's not about the, f the fact that you do it. It's about how you do it that makes it good or bad. Well, this marker actually feels a lot better than the, the one I was using before. So maybe ink flow is... is determined by the the pen itself rather than the type of pen i don't know i have no idea what i'm fucking talking about maybe i should shut up hey oh wow the dude it's getting pink eyes oh pink eye is he putting poo in his eye and he's got pink eye 
like a fucking hilarious. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, right, so the it's gonna it, it will it will amount to something. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it fucking won't. This is testing my ability to draw guns. You'd think guns are something like, oh, Ewan can draw guns, of course. He's got a whole comic with the word gun in the title. Of course he can draw guns. Oh, can he? Well, let's see. Let's put him to the test. Let's put him to the testicles. It's not boring, it's fun. Shut up. You don't know. You don't know anything. Bunch of cunts. I actually really like this lizard. <laughs> I think it's really funny. Um, so this is like... Obviously it's a lizard with like a gun taped to its back. That's the... War lizards. There's been street sharks. There's been like... Dinosaurs with guns has been a thing that I've seen. Um, a cartoon and toys of in a similar vein to like street sharks and those sorts of things. TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, things, cartoon, anthropomorphized animals with guns and shit. It's not a new concept. But what if they're not even anthropomorphized? What if they're just animals and you give them fucking guns? Just fucking, I was going to say staple, maybe tape. Oh, fuck it. Staple some fucking guns to some animals uh, for a laugh, because it'll be funny, because that's what I find humorous. I can draw guns. Fuck you. The hammer. Oh, 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 oh. fucking release button for the for the thing and then you have uh you have some string tied around the tail here some spines and then the string will be attached to the trigger there It's all, it's gonna, there's gonna be a point. It will make sense. Just, because this is like, okay, a lizard with a gun, sure. we we'll get that, but what are you, what's the, to what end, Ewan? What's the end game here? No, not the Marvel film. The, the term end game is actually a, it's an actual thing. It's not just from the Marvel movies. Again, I don't say that because I think you're stupid. I say that to clarify what I'm saying because I have a fear that I'm not speaking clearly and coherently enough. So if I clarify shit, it's not because I think you don't understand. It's because I'm scared that I'm not speaking properly. And so I, I feel like I have to clarify everything I say. Right, so it's a, a lizard with a gun on its, right? Yes, yeah, so you get that. You get that idea. <laughs> and then, um, I won't draw them fully, but then, so that'd be the first panel of the comic is like this, and maybe you could do it like a diagram, like, oh, this this many inches tall, and this and this many inches, and do, 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 and, and then a little like, this is gun, this is not a gun. I can't write it quickly. And then, so, okay, so that's panel number one, that. And then, like, if it's on Instagram, that's how I picture everything, because that's the only way I can work. Um, and then you swipe through to panel two. Panel two is a little illustration of um, the, the, the lizard with the, the gun on its back, a really well-drawn gun on its back. And then, like, the diagram with an arrow pointing downwards as the tail comes down, pulling the string pulling the trigger causing the gun to shoot and maybe the the lizard can look extra surprised like oh shit oh. um lizard legs tape holding the gun um and then 
Um, or maybe actually it might work better as four panels because the pause in between panels two and three. Okay, so panel three, right. Panel three would then be basically um, the same, same as this panel, but maybe with smoke coming out of it. Um, so panel one, this. Panel two, this. Bang! Pulling the tail down, the little arrow denoting what's happening. Panel three, same as this, but with smoke coming out. Then panel four would be lizard, 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 uh, gun. Um, would be the lizard coughing up the shell, the spent bullet casing. Um, which looks like this. This obviously wouldn't be that big. I'll try to draw it, you know, relatively to scale. But you get the idea. And then like a sound effect saying like calf or something like a cough, cough sound effect. <laughs> See, that's funny, isn't it? So you get lizard like, oh, it's lizard with a gun. That's a weird drawing you and I, but cool, I guess it's it's you know, it's, I guess the sort of thing you do: animal guns, things, relatively amusing looking situations. Uh, I buy it, I buy that Ewan. That's that's some Ewan sort of thing to do. That's good enough. It's good enough. Not brilliant, but it's good enough. And then you swipe, and it is bang, bang. Um, and you go, ha, he shot the gun. That's funny. And then you swipe again. It's like the smoking pistol. And you swipe again. And it's the, the lizard coughing up the shell. Which, yeah, it's not hilarious. It's not the funniest thing you've ever seen. It's not socially relevant in any way. But it's just a funny... I thought about it while I was walking home with these. I thought, what could I draw? So that's pink. Pink, a lizard with a gun. A lizard with a gun. A lizard shooting the gun. But Because I did think, well, realistically... If the gun was taped to the lizard like this, usually the the casings come out of the top here as the the top bit of the barrel sort of slides back from the rest of the barrel. Um, like this, creating a hole. Not this far, I, I'm, I'm exaggerating for the effect of, of the drawing. Um, this slides backwards and then the bullet casing comes out of this hole here. It goes ping! flies out here so as it goes, it goes bang um, and it all happens simultaneously so the hammer hits the back of the the casing and it explodes the gunpowder and it blasts it out of the the barrel um and and as the same time the top of the gun comes backwards so the the casing flies forwards and out through the top and the bullet carries on out of the casing that's how guns work i think from no research but just i figure that's probably how they work um so where does the, the casing go if, if a shot is fired? So I figured, well, it obviously goes into the lizard. <laughs> the doy. And so then the lizard would cough it up. And that's the... Maybe it doesn't need the third panel. Because um, I, I don't know. Yeah. Panel one, panel two, panel and three. And that's it. So just bang and then coughing up the... Yeah, I, I think that will work with three panels. Three panels is all you need. For that one. <laughs> mm. 